Hello, I'm Sarah Kennedy, and today we are going to be building a drag and drop interaction in the all new 2023 Adobe Captivate, uh, which is also sometimes called Project Charm. So let's get started. I already built this interaction here yesterday. I actually had a bit of trouble building it, um, and the tech support team at Adobe was absolutely wonderful, ended up remoting into my computer to work with me for about 15, 20 minutes to figure out where I was going wrong and get this back on the right track. So I figured tonight I'm doing an almost identical interaction and I figured I'd record it um, here in advance of Adobe releasing any specific documentation um, for this process, hopefully I can help out someone. So here we go. Here's the first interaction that I made. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up so you can see. This course is about taking uh, measurements and we are going to take and match the correct measurement to the correct location. and click submit and we get our feedback. Uh, the one thing that I have really noticed about the drag and drop interaction is that while it gives you a lot more flexibility to move things around, I have not been able to get it to resize particularly nicely. So with those things in mind, let's dive in to building uh, my next drag and drop interaction. I'm going to start by adding a new blank slide. Moving it to the end here. I'm then going to come to add new widget and add the drag and drop widget. I'm then going to come in here, select my picture and come down here to choosing a new picture from my system. I've already got one set up here and we're going to open that up. I'm also going to go in and change my heading here to just say drag and drop. And then instead of pictures, I am dragging words to match uh, up with this. So I'm going to select this. We're gonna, from the top here, select that there's only gonna be three drag and drop items for this interaction. And the object type is going to be text only. there. We're going to add our text. And then I'm going to make this text a bit bigger. And I think I am going to then choose the little box that this text is located in and add a thin border around it. We're gonna go darker gray color. And then I'm gonna come over here and do the same for each of these.
I'm now going to take this whole thing. I'm going to shrink it down a bit. I can't seem to shrink it um, vertically. I can only kind of shrink it side to side. And I'm going to move this down to the bottom of my page. So again, I'm going to come back up here, select my whole widget again. We only need three drop targets here. We're going to take these and we are going to shrink them down a little bit. Shrink them down, move them around. Give these our labels. I am also going to take and make these into circles. Now I'm going to change the color of my circle to match. And let's make that maybe a 50% transparency here. Thing, swap it to a circle, get my color picker, G, 50%, same thing here, give me a circle, that is blue, Let's make that a little bit lighter. So at this point, I have this mostly created. I just need to select which one of these is going to which spot. And this is the part that really tripped me up the other day. Um, it's actually relatively easy. If you click the right area, you want to select the entire widget. And if you get on that and you scroll down, there is an option that says connections and configure. If I click this, I now have object one. I can choose that that goes to E. Object two, that is going to F. Object three, that is going to G. And now that I have my correct answer selected, uh, everything will work. I can also from here change the number of attempts that I am going to give people as well as set um, any reporting if this was going to report out to a quiz or to an LMS. So let's go ahead and preview this interaction. E is shoulders. Mm, don't quite like that. Oh, let's see what I can do about the way that lands. Torso length is F. Skirt length is G. And I submit and I'm correct. Okay, so I played around with this for a few minutes and I have found that if I change the state of one of these, it automatically changes the states for all of them. So I can't seem to shrink down the text for the drop state without shrinking all of these. I see what looks like a link symbol here. I can't seem to break that. So I think my best solution at this point is going to be to just make these a little bit bigger. That way, they all fit without issue. And let's preview. Mm, 
that works much better. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope that this helps you with navigating the drag and drop widget in the all new Adobe Captivate.